Thousands and thousands of people in the area went hours without power last night, and some were left with some serious damage to clean up. Our Mayor Kawash is live tonight with the aftermath. Mayor? Yeah, as power is slowly turning back on in the area, while it's been out since last night, but some residents in the area have even bigger problems than that. Imagine waking up to this, a tree split in half, smashed into the back windshield of your car. Like the rest of us, Joey Costello was just watching the lightning strikes from his backyard when a much bigger problem struck in his front yard. And we came inside the house and our neighbors were like pounding on our door uh, last night around 9, 10 ish uh, to let us know what happened. And uh, we came out and we were just shocked to see this. No one was injured and no homes were damaged, but crews spent most of today cleaning along South Latawa and East 27th Avenue. Power line on that street also went down in the storm, but Costello says he and his neighbors never lost power. He did say his car is likely totaled, but he's just glad no one was hurt. My first thought was no one got hurt, so that was great. It's just a car, you know, you could always just fix it. it thankfully, insurance exists. It was a similar story across town as thousands were left without power, including including Rosar's. The grocery store was forced to open a little later this morning after not having power for about 10 hours. The manager says some perishable foods like dairy and fresh veggies were lost because of it. And right across the street, some residents even saw a fire from the storm. We heard a big boom and it was a transformer that blew. And then it was a big fire. And we were so concerned and we thought if the house was right here was on fire about getting the people out of the house. So it was a lot of people running around and they took out all of our power. No one was injured in that fire and the, she tensely says it was put out pretty quickly. She also says they were without power for about six hours. It came back on around 730 this morning. Others not so fortunate. I just checked Avista's website, pardon me, Avista's website, and there are nearly 2,000 people still without power. Aaron